ready yet. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Are you ready, Ethan? Right. Go! Find out why the rooms were supposed to be scary in it. Yes, we had to figure out some reason those were supposed to be frightening. We can't quite figure out what we got. Oh, it looks like we got some words here. Oh, man, you're just running through those, aren't you? You're not even looking at the words yet. Well, what we got? We got a, uh, uh, we got a word here. We got a they. We got a they. We, we got a, uh, a flow in. We got two floats. That's really weird. A uh, flow. We got a flow. Uh, careful. Don't you can't use your head. Uh, okay, maybe you can use your head. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay. That is literally using your head. You think you got it? You think you got it? Oh, no. What? Put them back together. Put them back together, man. Oh, they something. They, they all flow. Wow, these are really curled up. They float, they all float. They float, they all float, he's got it. It's, okay. It's, okay. Oh, you got the wrong order of it, hold on, hold on. They float, they all float. Okay, you know what? This physical challenge was so weird and difficult, we're just gonna give the points to both of you. To both of you, yes. Oh my God, I don't know. Yes, my God, bag of general right. anesthetic. This was such I a weird, my God. I'm. Yeah. Uh, I'm a nostalgia critic, and I don't know where I am right now. I'm the nostalgia critic, and ever since I was a child, I always wanted to play games, quoting movies and TV with my friends. The only problem was, I had no friends. Well, now that I have power, I can take my friends by force. With the help of my new POW general anesthetic, I can kidnap all the friends I want, and force them to answer questions in my Save by the Bell style set. There will be laughs, trivia, those disturbing cartoons that give you night terrors. But most of all, there will be fun. The laughter and joy will last however long I want. Heads up, America, for this is Pop Quiz Hot Shot. I'm probably gonna regret this, but unbag him, General Anesthetic. I'm back! <laughs> so, I'm not gonna lie, you were a very unique duo to uh, kidnap here, and I'd like to say I'm interested to find out more about you, but I'll probably just become more afraid, but uh, I got My a card says here. I'm a special little snowflake. <laughs> oh, she got half of that right. And we're gonna find out more about you right now. It says here, Ed, you have two other friends named Ed. Tell me about them. Oh yeah, there is Double D. He is very smart and he wears a sock on his head. <laughs> oh, and then there is Eddie. He is very short and very loud and very lovable. <laughs> we like to make scams together and make money for job breakers. <laughs> You're a very strange person. I'm not going to talk to you. Ethan. Oh. It says here that you actually dream of one day being the host of a game show. Oh man, I love game shows. Big fan. Um, in fact, I love them so much. I want to be a game show game show host so much. I would. Kill for it. This is going to be a fun episode. <laughs> Let's find out how to play it. Each contestant is asked a series of questions involving nostalgia quotes. If the contestant does not know the answer, but can make the nostalgia critic laugh, 10 points are still given. But look out for the spazzies. The first one to hit their buzzer when they appear ends the round, while the other has to pay the penalty through round two, where the quotes get even harder. The winner with the most points faces off against the Nostalgia Critic in a one-on-one -on -one match. If the contestant wins, they walk out with a cash prize, and also their lives. If they lose, the cash prize will be added to the next contestant's winnings. Alrighty, are you both ready? Hello, Button. I'll take that as a yes. Don't hit it. I, uh, no, just don't give him points. Don't stop it. <laughs> Dang gone. This is fun. I Not like you to... Oh, okay. <laughs> Ed. Hello. Fit. Finish this line from On the Waterfront. I could have been a... Second! Close, contender. Ethan, in Jerry Maguire, name one of two actors who said, show me the money. Uh, Tom Cruise. Yes! Ed, which sci-fi character originally wanted to go to the Tashi station to pick up some power converters? Uh, Luke Skywalker! Yes! You're not as smart as you look. Ethan. <laughs> The stranger says this story takes place in the early 90s near our war with what people? The sand people? <laughs> You're kind of right. The Iraqis. Right. So give them those points. <laughs> Ed, which Watchmen character's last words were, it's a joke, it's all a joke, mother forgive me? The comedian! Yes! Ethan, which movie had Jim Carrey scream, the goddamn pen is blue? Uh, liar, liar. 
Yes, I also would have accepted Man on the Moon, because you could just see that as a bit. Just out of nowhere, he would have dropped the movie for that. Ed, which character in Jurassic Park said dinosaurs eat man, woman inherits the earth? Uh, the girl character. <laughs> I think she mumbled a lot. Yeah, give him the points for that. I assume you're talking about Jeff Goldblum. Ethan, in Spider-Man, which character said, I trust my barber? Uh, oh. State Farm guy, I can't think of his name. Um. <laughs> no, that made me laugh. I'll give you that, the State Farm guy. <laughs> I want Spider-Man. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> no laughing from you. Ed, finish this line from In the Heat of the Night. They call me... Mr. Tebbs. Really, Ed, watch In the Heat of the Night? Uh, it was for a film studies class. I like watching movies. <laughs> I'm tempted to take that point away from you. Ethan, in Ant with a Z, name the actor who said, You know, my mother never had time for me. When you're the middle child in a family of five million, you don't get any attention. Who watched Ants? I watched Ants! <laughs> don't give him any points for that! I watch Ants too. Yes. They are fun to crawl around. There's the red ones and the black ones, and if you pull... Ed. Finish this line from the Goonies. Goonies never say... Die! Maybe later. Yes. <laughs> Ethan, what movie had the line, Beneath this mask, there is an idea, Mr. Creedy, and ideas are bulletproof? Uh, Batman? No, V for Vendetta. Batman both a little lighter and a little heavier. <laughs> oh. Which actor in Hook said, To live would be an awfully big adventure? Robin Williams? Yes, something you will not know in the near future whether you win this or not. Ethan, which action movie actors said, come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs? Uh, Bruce Willis? Yes! <laughs> All right. Oof. Yes, yes, I got it. Shut! Ding dong! He Ding hit, dong! Stop. He hit it! You are done! You are done whether you get more points in this or not. I don't like that you're in the lead. Ding but dong! It, Ding dong! Right. Thank oh, you, General yeah. Aesthetic. Ding dong! <laughs> Do you want us to take away another toe? But they love my toes! Then shut up! <laughs> Ethan, sad to say you do not get penalized, <laughs> but Ed here does, which is great joy to me. It is a penalty of my choosing, and you know what? He inspired me, and I just got to know what the hell Ed would sound and look like as Batman. Oh, goody, goody, goody! I'm going to regret this. While we get him in the outfit, Ethan, you get to watch the spazzy cartoon. Thank you for walking me across the street, good lady. Certainly, sir. And what did you say your name was? Harvey. Frank Harvey. You're the man who killed my father! Die, you <laughs> bastard! Die, 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 Ed? Punk is nothing but death, and Kron, and the rage of enemies! <laughs> this was a mistake. This was such a huge mistake. Let's just start round two. Ding dong! Ethan, please, pull it together. By God, pull it <laughs> together. Ed, what movie had the line, that's what I love about high school girls, I get older, they stay the same age? Twilight? Good <laughs> guess! No, dazed and confused, which I think the actors often were during that. <laughs> Ethan, what Indiana Jones character said, you call this archaeology? I can't think of his dad's name. Mr. Jones. <laughs> you know, damn it, that, that made me laugh, so I had to give it to you. No, it's actually Henry Jones Sr. Bat Ed, you should be good at this one. Which two actors from the 1989 Batman said, you are my number one guy? Jack Nicholson. And? Bob. No, Bob had like two lines in the whole thing. They weren't that long. Jack Palance. Oh. You look like Waldo's about to rob a bank. Ethan, <laughs> what early 90s movie had the line, get off my train? Thomas the Tank Engine, The Revengeance. The Revengeance? <laughs> <laughs> Give him 10 points because I am using that word in the future, The Revengeance. <laughs> you mess with the wrong train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're already scary enough. They don't need any more help from you. Ed, which Rocky villain said, prediction, pain? Clubber Lang? Yes! That Ed knows his Rocky movies. I Ethan. love Mr. P. 
He is our greatest hero. <laughs> he doesn't love you. Ethan, finish this Ghostbusters line. We came, we saw, we... Destroyed the shit out of it. It's practically the same thing. Kicked its ass. Oh. You're so close. You're tied. <laughs> don't, don't lose it. Don't let him win. <laughs> don't give do me it. the points for that then. I was right. I can't. I can't. Because it wasn't funny enough. Just, you need to either be funnier or no ghost. Neither is this. Ghostbusters. Eat our pumpkin eater. <laughs> Ed, which sci-fi villain said, time is the fire in which we burn? Only the claw knows. No, that's wrong, that's wrong. Ethan, please, please, get this right, get this right. Which Nicolas Cage movie had Nick scream, I lost my hand, I lost my bride? All of them? <laughs> <laughs> Moonstruck, it's Moonstruck. Everyone laughs though, so I should get the points, right? I didn't laugh though, I didn't laugh. Hey, because I mean... Nicolas Cage isn't funny. Okay, dude. <laughs> Now I'm rooting for Ed again. That hurt. Oh. That hurt. You're making me root for Ed. That's how bad that hurt. Ed, in Full Metal Jacket, R. Lee Ermey said, if you survive recruit training, you will be a weapon. You will be a minister of death praying for war. True or false? True. Yes. Oh. Ethan, in Star Wars Attack of the Clones, which character said, I don't like Sam? So it's, it's such a funny line, it's hard to even get it all out. <laughs> I don't like sand. It's coarse and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Anakin. Yes. <laughs> One of the great memorable Star Wars <laughs> lines. <sighs> and in Mary Poppins, when Bert says, stop that! I can never stop my fight for justice! Can you just shoot him in the leg? Don't worry. We'll, Guns we'll do not work against it's me. It's gonna Batman. happen. Can I shoot him in the leg? It's, it's, I'm, I'm liking you again. I'm like, <laughs> Ed, in Mary Poppins, when Bert says, I know a man with a wooden leg named Smith, what is Uncle Albert's reply? Oh, we must go to the same hardware store. Not even close. That is, what's the name of his other leg? Come on, classic joke. Classic joke. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. Hi, Please, for the Craig. love of Jesus, get this one right. Finish this line from the movie Dune. Oh, God. <laughs> Fear is the... What well, I'm feeling right now in my pants. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I I'm only laughing because I made my brother laugh and he's the Dune fan, so... <laughs> so I know it must actually be funny. <laughs> One of these days I'll get through the first <laughs> ten minutes. Ed, in what movie did David Crumholtz say, The shit has hitteth the fan if? Who's David Crumholtz? Good guess. Uh, it's actually 10 things I hate about you, which I can list very easily. <laughs> in which Star Trek movie can you find the line, you haven't experienced Shakespeare until you've heard it in the original Klingon? Uh, Star Trek 3, Search of Spock. No, Star Trek 6, the undiscovered country. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because that means the level is over and you win! Yes! Oh, yes! 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 Ed, it brings me so little joy in saying this, but sadly the time has come for you to go away, far away from me, with a gun in you, anywhere, I don't care. Can, can oh, I do okay. It? Can I do I'll it? see you later, guys! Lesson in life, I'm so Can I do it? Hard. Can I do it? Please, can I do it? No, 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 we have to give General Anesthetic. I think you've been waiting for a while to do it, General Oh, yes! Wow, okay. Yes, God, that is wonderful, and I am so happy. Ethan, I hope you make it to the end, but I don't care, because I just know he's not. We will be <laughs> right back with the final round in Hot Quiz Hot Shot. If you would like to be a contestant on Hot Quiz Hot Shot and live in the Chicagoland area, send a video via YouTube stating your name, age, and why you think you would be a good contestant. Hot shot. Ethan, congratulations. You'll be battling against a critic in our final round. I'll be reading seven questions. Whoever answers the most correctly will win this! A new boat! Load of boat toys, courtesy of Boat Toys or Us. Also, $100 in cash, and of course, you're alive! Brilliant. All right, I'm going to be reading each of you Quentin Tarantino quotes. You're gonna have to match the quote with the movie. Are you ready, Ethan? Yes. Are you ready, Kimosabi? Yes. Excellent, here we go. Ethan. I don't tip because society says I have to. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Incorrect. Critic. Sicilians are great liars. The best in the world. I'm Sicilian. Glorious Bastards? Incorrect. Ethan. 
We didn't know the country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Correct. Critic. Okay, Ted, pay attention here. I'm going to make two piles on the bar. One pile which is yours. The other pile which could be yours. Reservoir Dogs? Incorrect. Ethan, now do we all agree that what we are dealing with is vampires? <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Critic. I'll bet besides maybe an afro, you'll look exactly how you did at 29. Kill Bill Volume 1. Incorrect. Ethan, when you grow up, if you still feel raw about it, I'll be waiting. Kill Bill Volume 1. Correct. Critic. And what, pray tell, is the five-point palm exploding heart technique? Kill Bill Volume 2. Correct. Ethan. Well, Stuntman Mike, I'm Butterfly. My friend Jungle Julia over here says that jukebox inside is pretty impressive. Reservoir Dogs? Incorrect! Critic, we've got a German here who wants to die for his country. Oblige here. Inglorious bastard. Correct! Ethan, kill white people and get paid for it. What's not to like? Django Unchained. Correct! Critic, I do believe Marcellus Wallace, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out to do whatever I wanted. All fiction. Correct! Ethan, it's amusing to me to torture a cop. Reservoir Dogs. Correct! And finally, Critic, if on your journey you should encounter God, God will be cut. Kill Bill Volume 1. Correct! And the winner is... <laughs> a tie? God damn it! All right, well, Critic, Ethan, it's time for Rock, Paper, Scissors. Wait, what? Go. Really? Go! What? what? Yep. Okay. One, two, three, go! Ah, yes! Ah, okay, Ethan. You win, my friend. That crown is way too small for you, but nevertheless, I'm glad you get to wear it and you get to walk out of here with your life. So, sir, congratulations. I hate you. Get out of here. I never want to see you again. We will see you next time on Rock, Paper, Scissors. Really? Really? Yeah. Why did I come up with that? I think Brad did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Asshole. Boy, this was a... Special episode, wasn't it? Quite, When yes. I think of the word special, I think of this episode definitely very much. You know, but I have to admit, it still wasn't as strange as that shader guy, remember? Yeah, yeah. The costume you know, and stuff like that? Couldn't get shot at yeah. all. Yeah, I, I remember when we did, like, the plug at the end. He's like, go to my website and stuff. I mean, imagine if that Ed guy had a website or even a Facebook. I mean, Facebook. what would it be like, you know, a Facebook... My name is Ed, or well, something like that. Especially yeah, we were to yeah. post a link at the bottom. I mean, we want to do him any favors. I no, mean, it'd be no, ridiculous. No, 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 Thank no, God no. he's not here to do that. Indeed. Yeah. I'm going to miss him. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, not really. No, not at all. Yeah. I'm glad he's dead. You made sure he's dead, right? Absolutely. Where'd you shoot him? Right in the head. Oh. The Ed head. That's my favorite. You're my son of a. Ah!